Hi, this is Mike from Microsoft Microsoft Reviews and How To, and on today's video, I'm going to show you how to reset or clear the user or admin password for your HP laptop. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to take a look at how to reset or clear the admin or user password for accessing the BIOS on your HP laptop. This particular version is the HP 245G8, but it does work with a whole host of HP laptops and actually other brands as well. I'll put all the links for the site in the video description below so you can check it out for yourself, but it does cover mostly HP models, uh, some Acer's, etc., etc. Anyway, I'm digressing. Let's get on with this. So first of all, you're going to be greeted with a screen which looks something like this. So you're going to have the thing saying, please enter admin password or user password, etc., etc. If you've got the power on password, then this is a slightly different thing. So this doesn't cover that necessarily, but you could certainly give it a try. It isn't going to do any harm. So essentially what we're going to need to do is we need to actually generate another passcode. And the way we do this is by entering the code wrong or incorrectly three times. This will give you a system generated code. We can then take that code, go over to the computer, go to a website, which again, links in the video description, enter that and it will clear the password. And then obviously you can either recreate a password if you want to, or just leave it disabled. So let's give you a close up on the screen so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So this is the screen. So obviously it's asking for the admin password. So we're going to type it in incorrectly a few times. and it'll come up with this message saying system is disabled and it'll give you a reference code. So all we need to do now is to either write down or directly transfer that particular code actually into the website. So let's head over and do that next. So this is the website, so bios-pw.org, uh, totally free, don't have to pay anyone. And if anyone asks you to pay for password recoveries for laptops, uh, please don't do it, just go to a uh, reputable free site, such as this one. So next thing we want to do is to enter our code. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that now. You do need to enter the code as it is displayed. So if there's uppercase or lowercase letters, make sure you put them in as they are shown on your laptop's display. So on our particular model, we've got the code 447247 capital A4. So all we need to do is click on get password. And there we go. So it's thinking that it could be either from a Fujitsu Seaman or it could be from an HP AMI BIOS. Now I know on ours, it's an HP AMI BIOS. So we can go ahead now and directly type this code in into the laptop after we've turned it off and turned it back on again. So next thing to do is to turn the laptop off. So press the power button. And now we can turn it on. And what you want to do is go straight into the BIOS. So ideally you want to be pressing the function button and F10 on this particular model to go straight in. So now we're back in again, so now we can type in our unlock code. So our particular code is, I'm gonna have to look around, so it's D4AB3687. Now in some cases it might be easier just to actually write it down. And there we go. So now we've got access to our bar, so we can go in and make modifications, changes, etc. And if we head over into the security tab, so you can see now administrator password is clear and power on password is clear. So your mileage may vary whether or not it'll do power on password, but it definitely works for the administrator password. So there you go, nice and easy and didn't cost us a penny. All this cost you is a, well, a few moments of your time actually watching how to do it. The links for the actual site will be in the video description below, like I said before. Again, don't pay anybody for uh, password recovery, etc. It's It's a mugs game. A lot of people are taking advantage of this, so, this is totally free. Obviously, because it is free, there's no guarantees that it's definitely gonna work for your particular unit, but certainly it's definitely worth a try. And we've uh, managed to get back into mine after testing and messing around with it. So, yep, works great, can't fault it. So let me know if this video has been helpful to you. If it has, smash the like button. If you wanna see more content on this on a daily basis, then hit that subscribe button and the time notification and you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.